Hi there, it's Debbie Adler here. Say hi if you're with me and where you're from. I'm so happy to be here with you today because I have an exciting recipe you're going to love. I learned from Chef Katie May how to make potato waffles in a waffle iron. Instead of bread, you can make these potato waffles and you could put anything on them. Just your imagination is the limit. So I decided I was gonna make these potato waffles and put cauliflower hummus on them. What better thing than that? That a pita use the potato waffles. But first, to make the cauliflower, I'm going to put the uh, cauliflower in the oven at 400 for 30 minutes. So I have put on the cauliflower some apple cider vinegar. You don't need oil. This is going to roast beautifully. So I'm gonna put this in and we're gonna get that later. Next up is the potato waffles. So if you have a, a waffle iron, this is a perfect use of your waffle iron. So what you wanna do is take rather small ones and, and just boil them until they're very, very, very tender, like for 10 minutes, really boil them because if they're not very tender, they're not going to press down as easily it's going to be really really difficult to get your waffle so i have boiled this to like within an inch of its life without without having it fall apart because i really like them soft i've already done some so i just want to show you i've left a little grid and all you do is you press down on the waffle iron and you let it sit for at least eight minutes. So let it go through maybe two cycles on when it goes on, let it go through two cycles before you actually take out the, the potato waffle because it's gonna stick to the iron and it's not going to be good. So now we're gonna make the cauliflower. Luckily, I've already roasted a batch, so I'm gonna take that out. Okay, and I'm going to show you what to do. So it's beautiful. Look how beautiful the cauliflower comes out. I don't know if you can see that. Nice and roasted. See, you don't need oil to roast your veggies. And I'm going to put that into my food processor. Say hi if you're with me. I don't want to be alone over here. And just put that in your food processor. This goes really, really fast, but it is so delicious. I do hummus in a very, very different way. So, uh, you, you know, if, if you haven't seen this before, it's because I just made up something that suits my taste and it's absolutely delicious and I think you're going to love it. It is very unconventional. I just put in some uh, sweet potato. I already roasted that beforehand, so it's very, very soft. And when you roast sweet potatoes, hey, Heidi, um, they become just caramelized and delicious. I'm also going to add some lemon juice, and this is also very different. I'm also going to add in some lemon rind. This adds even a more lemony flavor than just the juice, and it also adds in some anti-cancer properties. They found that there is some sort of agent in the in the rind, not in the juice, but in the rind that actually helps prevent cancer. So I'm all about that, the taste and the anti-cancer properties. So here we go. I put this on everything, my salads and my dressings and wherever else I can think of. So why not the hummus? So I did that. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of tahini and a little bit of garlic powder. You can use real garlic if you wish. And I am going to get my thing here, and then we're going to get this going. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to get it to come together. There we go. And then you may have to just, you know, push it down a little bit to get it all together. There we go. Hi, Darlene. Yeah, <laughs> they do. They are great. They're crunchy, and you haven't you haven't tasted waffles until you have a potato waffle. Let me tell you. Okay, so now I think the hummus is coming together really nicely. Maybe one more spin around, and then we're going to put the whole thing together. So wait till you see this. This is going to be incredible. So we're gonna take our waffle iron 
and we're going to hi Carla so we're going to take out the one that is done which is probably let's see probably this one uh-huh there we go okay we have a winner this one is done if you can see it here and we're going to add on top our cauliflower hummus this is getting good folks this is good okay and you can put in whatever you want you can use regular hummus or any toppings or spreads that you love and go for it you could put this on you know make it make a veggie burger and use both you know two, two hey vic you you know use two and make make yourself buns i mean this is fantastic potatoes are so so healthy you should not avoid potatoes um they have resistant starch which is really good for your gut flora as well as burning fat and increasing your metabolism i'm adding pickles why not and also some cabbage so this is my version of a uh, cauliflower hummus potato waffle. Look at that. It's delicious. It is healthy. It is low in calories. And I don't, I, you know, I don't know anyone who wouldn't like this. <laughs> so I will, I will post the recipe and you can ask me any questions you like in the comment section. I will answer every single one. I'm so glad you're with me today. Um, please remember to live insatiably, forgive lavishly, and love ferociously, especially yourself.